praise the Lord. According to one year Bible reading plan day to 56, we have Ezekiel chapters 25 to 27. Ezekiel chapter 25. The Lord spoke to me. Mortal man, he said, denounce the country of Ammon. Tell them to listen to what I, the sovereign Lord, am saying. You were delighted to see my temple profaned, to see the land of Israel devastated, to see the people of Judah go into exile, because you were glad. I will let the tribes from the eastern desert conquer you. They will set up their camps in your country and settle there. They will eat the fruit and bring the milk that should have been yours. I will turn the city of Rabbah into a place to keep camels, and the whole country of Ammon will become a place to keep sheep, so that you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord is saying. You clapped your hands and jumped for joy. You despised the land of Israel. Because you did, I will hand you over to other nations who will rob you and plunder you. I will destroy you so completely that you will not be a nation any more or have a country of your own. Then you will know that I am the Lord, the sovereign Lord said. Because Moab has said that Judah is like all the other nations, I will let the cities that defend the border of Moab be attacked, including even the finest cities. Beth Jeshimoth, Baal Meon, and Kiriathim. I will let the tribes of the eastern desert conquer Moab, together with Ammon, so that Moab will no longer be a nation. I will punish Moab, and they will know that I am the Lord. The sovereign Lord said, The people of Edom took cruel revenge on Judah, and that revenge has brought lasting guilt on Edom. Now if I announce that I will punish Edom and kill every person and animal there. I will make it a wasteland from the city of Teman to the city of Dedan, and the people will be killed in battle. My people Israel will take revenge on Edom for me, and they will make Edom feel my furious anger. Edom will know what it means to be the object of my revenge. The Sovereign Lord has spoken. The Sovereign Lord said, the Philistines have taken cruel revenge on their age-long enemies and destroyed them in their hate. And so I am announcing that I will attack the Philistines and wipe them out. I will destroy everyone left living there on the Philistine plain. I will punish them severely and take full revenge on them. They will feel my anger. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 26 on the first day of the month of the eleventh year of our exile, the Lord spoke to me. Mortal man, he said, this is what the people in the city of Tyre are cheering about. They shout, Jerusalem is shattered. Her commercial power is gone. She won't be a rival anymore. Now then, this is what I, the sovereign Lord, am saying. I am your enemy, city of Tyre. I will bring many nations to attack you, and they will come like the waves of the sea. They will destroy your city walls and tear down your towers. Then I will sweep away all the dust and leave only a bare rock. Fishermen will dry their nets on it, there where it stands in the sea. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. The nations will plunder Tyre, and with their swords they will kill those who live in her towns on the mainland. Then Tyre will know that I am the Lord. The sovereign Lord says, I am going to bring the greatest king of all, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylonia, to attack Tyre. He will come from the north with a huge army, with horses and chariots and cavalry. Those who live in the towns of the mainland will be killed in the fighting. The enemy will dig trenches, build earthworks and make a solid wall of shields against you. They will pound in your walls with battering rams and tear down your towers with iron bars. The clouds of dust raised by their horses will cover you. The noise of their horses pulling wagons and chariots will shake your walls as they pass through the gates of the ruined city. Their cavalry will storm through your streets, killing your people with their swords. Your mighty pillars will be thrown to the ground. Your enemies will help themselves to your wealth and merchandise. 
They will pull down your walls and shatter your luxurious houses. They will take the stones and wood and all the rubble and dump them into the sea. I will put an end to all your songs and I will silence the music of your harps. I will leave only a bare rock where fishermen can dry their nets. The city will never be rebuilt. I, the sovereign lord, have spoken. The sovereign lord has this to say to the city of Tyre. When you are being conquered, the people who live along the coast will be terrified at the screams of those who are slaughtered. All the kings of the suffering nations will come down from their thrones. They will take off their robes and their embroidered clothes and sit trembling on the ground. They will be so terrified at your fate that they won't even be able to stop trembling. They will sing this funeral song for you. The famous city is destroyed. Her ships have been swept from the seas. The people of the city ruled the seas and terrified all who lived on the coast. Now, on the day it has fallen, the islands are trembling and their people are shocked at such destruction. The sovereign lord says, I will make you as desolate as ruined cities where no one lives. I will cover you with the water of the ocean depths. I will send you down to the world of the dead to join the people who lived in ancient times. I will make you stay in that underground world among eternal ruins, keeping company with the dead. As a result, you will never again be inhabited and take your place in the land of the living. I will make you a terrifying example, and that will be the end of you. People may look for you, but you will be never be found. The Sovereign Lord has spoken. Ezekiel chapter 27 The Lord said to me, Mortal man, sing a funeral song for Tyre. That city would stand at the edge of the sea and does business with the people living on every sea coast. Tell her what the sovereign Lord is saying. Tyre, you boasted of your perfect beauty. Your home is the sea. Your builders made you like a beautiful ship. They used fir trees from Mount Hermon for timber and a cedar from Lebanon for your mast. They took oak trees from Bashan to make oars. They made your deck out of pine from Cyprus and inlaid it with ivory. Your sails were made of linen, embroidered linen from Egypt, easily recognized from afar. Your awnings were made of finest cloth of purple from the island of Cyprus. Your oarsmen were from the cities of Sidon and Arvad. Your own skillful men were the sailors. The ship's carpenters were well-trained men from Byblos. Sailors from every seagoing ship did business in your shops. Soldiers from Persia, Lydia and Libya served in your army. They hung their shields and their helmets in your barracks. They are the men who won glory for you. Soldiers from Arvad guarded your walls, and troops from Gamad guarded your towers. They hung their shields on your walls. They are the ones who made you beautiful. You did business in Spain and took silver, iron, tin, and lead in payment for your abundant goods. You did business in Greece, Jibel, and Meshach, and traded your goods for slaves and for articles of bronze. You sold your goods for work houses, war horses and mules from Beth to Garma. The people of Rhodes traded with you. People of many coastal lands gave you ivory and ebony in exchange for your goods. The people of Syria bought you merchandise and your many products. They gave emeralds, purple cloth, embroidery, fine linen, coral and rubies in payment for your wares. Judah and Israel paid for you goods with wheat, honey, olive oil and spices. The people of Damascus bought your merchandise and your products, paying for them with wine from Helbon and wool from Sahar. They traded wrought iron and spices for your goods. The people of Dedan traded saddle blankets for your goods. The Arabians and the rulers of the land of Kedar paid for your merchandise with lambs, sheep and goats. For your goods, the merchants of Sheba and Ramah traded jewels, gold and the finest spices. The cities of Haran, Kani and Eden. 
the merchants of Sheba, the cities of Ashur and Kilmad. They all traded with you. They sold you luxurious clothing, purple cloth and embroidery, brightly colored carpets and well-made cords and robes. Your merchandise was carried in fleets of largest cargo ships. You were like a ship at sea loaded with heavy cargo. When your oarsmen brought you out to sea, an east wind wrecked you far from land. All your wealth of merchandise, all the sailors and your crew, your ship's carpenters and your merchants, every soul on board the ship, all, all were lost at sea when your ship was wrecked. The shouts of the drowning sailors echoed on the shore. Every ship is now deserted and every sailor has gone ashore. They all mourn bitterly for you, throwing dust on their heads and rolling in ashes. They shave their heads for you and dress themselves in sackcloth. Their hearts are bitter as they weep. They chant a funeral song for you. Who can be compared to Tyre, to Tyre now silent in the sea? When your merchandise went overseas, you filled the needs of every nation. Kings were made rich by the wealth of your goods. Now you are wrecked in the sea. You have sunk to the ocean depths. Your goods and all who worked for you have vanished with you in the sea. Everyone who lives along the coast is shocked at your fate. Even their kings are terrified and fear is written on their faces. You are gone, gone forever. And merchants all over the world are terrified. Afraid that they will share your fate. May the Lord bless us abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.